Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Raspbian operating system onto the Raspberry Pi. For this tutorial, I'm using the Kaneke Raspberry Pi 3. You can find the link in the description box below. This process also applies to Raspberry Pi 4 and 2. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is insert the micro SD card into the USB. Everything you see here is included in the kit. And then onto the computer. Okay, then head over to the Raspberry Pi website. And here, because I'm using Windows, I'll download the Raspberry Pi imager for Windows. If you're using Mac or Ubuntu, then select the other links. You can run the executable from here or you can go to your downloads folder and run the executable from there as well. Install and then launch the Raspberry Pi imager. Here, let's choose the operating system. Here, uh, we can choose a Raspberry Pi OS, which is the recommended operating system. If we go to Raspberry Pi OS Other, we can select from other Raspberry Pi, which is the Lite or the one with recommended applications. The Lite won't bring any GUI, any desktop experience. I usually use this one for uh, installing Nextcloud or OwnCloud. And the one with recommended applications might download a few applications that I might not use. So I'll use the uh, Raspberry Pi OS, the recommended one. So I'll go back here and select it. Now here, let's choose a storage. In my case, I have multiple uh, external hard drive connected to my PC. So I'll make sure that it is detected and that I know the drive letter. In this case, it's drive letter I. So I'll go back to the imager and then choose storage. Now here we need to make sure that we select the proper storage device because if you select the wrong one, it'll end up deleting all information in that drive. That is why it's very important for you to memorize the drive letter. If you notice here, this is my drive letter I. 32 gigabyte SD card. So I'll select this one and then write. Here, click on yes. This is the all information will be deleted and repl replaced with the Raspberry Pi operating system. This can take quite some time. Once done, you can eject the uh, SD card from the computer and plug it onto the Raspberry Pi. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, I connected all my peripherals. I usually leave the power for last because once I plug in the power, it'll turn on the Raspberry Pi. Now to set this up, click on Next. Here, select Country, Language, and Time Zone. English language, English keyboard. Here you can enter a password or leave it blank. You don't have to put a password. I'll click next. And here, if you see a black border around your screen, check mark this, but my border is okay. So I'll leave it like that. Anyways, in case it does, you can mess with the uh, resolution later on their display. Here I have my uh, Wi-Fi and the password for my Wi-Fi. Click on next. And here is optional. You can update the software or just skip it. In this case, I'm going to skip it. If you want to have it up to date, <clears throat> you can go ahead and click next here. I 
OK, setup is complete and you're ready to use your Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.